cyber criminals, profits from malware is not limited to direct financial gains. They also engage in different extortion tactics, using the threat of exposing compromising information or damaging a victim's reputation. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how cyber criminals can use malware to profit off of their victims. In today's digital age, cyber criminals have become quite used to exploiting system vulnerabilities to make substantial profits, particularly using malware. Now malware, short for malicious software, allows these criminals to carry out a bunch of illegal activities. The profitability of such activities has led to an ever evolving landscape of cyber crime where criminals come up with ingenious ways to generate revenue. And so this video dives a bit deeper into the different methods through which cyber criminals profit from malware. Now, before we get into this video, it's important to note that the most effective and efficient way to prevent these criminals from profiting off of you is through using a reputable antivirus software. So if you don't already have one or happen to be looking for some suggestions, I left some in-depth reviews of antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. So make sure to check those out. All right, so to understand the lucrative aspects of cyber criminals activities, it is important to first understand the mechanisms they use to get into your system. Malware generally includes a variety of malicious software types, including viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, and spyware. These tools serve as the gateway for cyber criminals to engage in activities that translate into profit. Whether it is stealing sensitive data or disrupting critical infrastructure, it's all done through the use of malware. If you want to know more about the different types of malware out there, I've already made a video diving into the topic and I'll be leaving it in the description down below as well. So make sure to check it out. Okay, so one of the most common ways cyber criminals profit from malware is through data theft and sale. Malware allows malicious actors to infiltrate a target system, exfiltrate sensitive information, and then sell it on underground markets. These markets cater a wide range of stolen data, including personal information, login credentials, credit card details, and even corporate secrets. Cyber criminals may get their hands on data through different means, such as key loggers, spyware, or data breaches. The demand for such information on the dark web is consistently high, which attracts cyber criminals who are into monetizing stolen data. Next, we have ransomware, which is a specific type of malware that represents a sinister and financially rewarding avenue for cyber criminals. This form of malware encrypts a victim's files or entire systems, rendering them inaccessible until a ransom is paid. Ransom demands can range from hundreds to millions of dollars, and cyber criminals use the victim's desperation to extract payments. The success of ransomware attacks is due to their ability to target individuals, businesses, and even critical infrastructure. This provides a diverse range of targets, each with varying financial capabilities, which guarantee a continuous flow of profits for these criminals. Now, before we move on to other methods cyber criminals use to profit from malware, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection the Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files, the Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint, instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert, and Surfshark alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. Another area for malware-driven profits involves the creation and operation of botnets. Botnets are networks of compromised devices, 
often infected with malware that are remotely controlled by cyber criminals. This network of devices can be used for a bunch of different illegal activities, such as launching DDoS attacks, sending spam, or mining cryptocurrency. Botnet operators rent their services to other cyber criminals who use these resources to achieve their own objectives. The larger and more powerful the botnet, the higher the rental fees, resulting in significant revenue for the operators. You also have adware and click fraud that represents more subtle yet lucrative methods for cyber criminals to profit from malware. Adware is often bundled with seemingly harmless software, but its main goal is to deliver intrusive advertisements and gather user data for targeted marketing. Cyber criminals partner with advertising networks to guarantee income from clicks on these ads. Click fraud takes this concept a step further, as cyber criminals use malware to simulate click on online advertisements, which inflates the revenue earned by the advertiser. This click fraud can be a lucrative business for cyber criminals, as they get a share of all the ill-gotten ad revenue. Cryptocurrency mining malware, also known as cryptojacking, is another common field for cyber criminals to generate profit. This type of malware infects a victim's computer using its processing power to mine cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Monero. The mining rewards go directly to the cyber criminal's wallet, with the victim unknowingly bearing the electricity and hardware costs. Crypto jacking can be especially profitable in areas with cheap electricity, allowing cyber criminals to generate significant amounts of cryptocurrency without having that much expenses. Moving on, the sale of malware and hacking tools on the dark web is yet another revenue generating strategy for cyber criminals. These tools can vary from exploit kits that target specific software vulnerabilities to remote access trojans that provide unauthorized access to compromised systems. The clients of such tools may use them to carry out a wide range of cyber attacks including data theft, espionage, or even further malware distribution. The development and distribution of these malicious tools make a thriving marketplace within the cyber criminal ecosystem. Other than that, the affiliate marketing programs for malware distribution are becoming increasingly popular among cyber criminals. These programs incentivize individuals to distribute malware, such as adware or potentially unwanted programs, in exchange for a share of the generated revenue. Cyber criminals acting as program administrators provide affiliates with pre-packed malware and reward them based on the number of installations or clicks generated. This approach allows for the efficient distribution of malware on a global scale and offers incentives for affiliates to continue their illegal activities. Lastly, cyber criminals' profits from malware is not limited to direct financial gains. They also engage in different extortion tactics, using the threat of exposing compromising information or damaging a victim's reputation. For example, cyber criminals may use malware to gain access to intimate photos or videos of the victim, threatening to make them public unless a ransom is paid. While these tactics may not result in immediate financial gain, they can be highly effective in making victims pay huge sums of money. And that's basically it for how cyber criminals profit from malware. Don't forget to always have an antivirus on your system running in the background to protect yourself from malware and other cyber threats. In case you don't already have an antivirus or you're looking for one, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.